What's up guys, my name is Julie and this is The Curated Curvy where I bring you along for the journey as I attempt to create the curated wardrobe of my dreams with these two hands and today I have for you guys a mini fabric haul. So currently my family is on vacation, my kiddos are on spring break so we decided to hit the road, go up to Austin, Texas and hang out here for about a week. While we are here, every time we come up I do like to check out a different fabric store and this time I decided that I would check out a fabric shop in Austin, Texas up in the hills called The Cotton Cupboard. Now I will link their Instagram and their website in the description box below as they do um, carry all of their fabric selection online and if you are in Texas in the entire state of Texas then you can get one and two day shipping which is pretty exciting now when I went into the fabric store my expectations were not that high as I don't quilt I do garment sewing but my husband was like we should check it out it's pretty close to where we are and so kind of begrudgingly I went along with it I was incredibly impressed. While she does have a wide array of quilting fabrics, she also has some really, really nice garment making fabrics in there and I dwindled it down to four selections and I guess we'll get into that now. All right, so the first one that I picked up is this beautiful art gallery knit. At the time of picking it up, I didn't realize that it was an art gallery knit. Um, so it was a very pleasant surprise. Right now her entire knit selection is on clearance for $4.99 as she no longer plans to carry knit in her store she will continue to carry her linens and her rayons but the knits are one of the things that are gonna go so as I mentioned this was on clearance for $4.99 this is an art gallery knit 95% cotton 5% spandex for five dollars that is pretty wild if you are not familiar with art gallery prints they usually have like really really pretty pretty prints but they also have a pretty high price point to match those gorgeous prints so I was very excited to find out that I had scored some for only five dollars now with this I am thinking of making a McCall's knit dress that I have made before I will obviously put the pattern up for you I did it in a kind of like very lightweight rib knit a few months ago from a Walmart bundle I think it would be a phenomenal dress in this I'm thinking of doing the view that has the three-quarter sleeve in the full skirt now I think that view if you do it as is requires about about five yards of fabric but I'm hoping since I plan on shortening shortening the skirt significantly that I can squeeze it out of three yards of fabric and if I do I feel like it would just be the perfect spring summer dress especially since it is knit which means it's just easy to come on requires minimal fitting and it is also like mostly cotton content which will help me to stay cool and like the warmer climate that I live in so that's the first one that I got again three yards of this for $4.99 a yard absolutely stunning the next one that I got is not an art gallery print it was just another selection that was in her selection of knits it doesn't even have like any information on the selvage to tell me where it came from but that is absolutely fine this was also $4.99 a yard and I picked up two yards of this now my theory behind this is I want to get into experimenting with larger florals. I usually like ditzy florals as you can see here but like I said I want to start playing around with larger florals and just kind of branching out a little bit outside of my comfort zone so staying within that realm of florals because I do love florals but like again seeing what I would look like and if I like the way that I look in a larger scale print. So I picked this one up this was $4.99 a yard again and I grabbed two yards of this. Now when I sat down and I started thinking about what I'd want to make with it, I'm kind of leaning towards like the Kim Wrap Top by Vicky Sews Patterns. While that top is a long sleeve top, I think that I can easily hack that sleeve and give myself like a little cap sleeve or a three quarter sleeve to be more appropriate for the warmer months. I will have a considerable amount of fabric left over after that and I'm thinking with the leftover fabric, maybe I'll do like a racer back tank situation because again, we're coming into those warmer months and I feel like pairing a basic pattern with with a really fun and vibrant um fabric could be like a really cool like situation so that's what I'm thinking I'm also getting a little bit more into jeans wearing and I feel like both of those tops would pair nicely with like a pair of denim jeans and some slides for like you know those again warmer summer days when I got things to do so that is the theory this is the fabric all right, the next one that I picked up is the only quilting cotton that I picked up while I was in the store and it is this plaid print here this fabric was about $13.99 a yard and I got one yard and a half. Now when I was talking to her, I was asking her like, do you like feel like quilting fabrics are suitable for like bottoms because I personally don't and she was telling me that she likes to make wrap skirts out of them and she has a really simplistic method of making the wrap skirt which is where she will fold it on the cross grain and she will take her hip measurement divided by four 
plus two and she'll use that as the circumference for her waistline similar to what you would do with a circle skirt and then she'll cut up one side of it oh but before she does that she'll get like the pencil and the string like the compass trick she'll measure out how long she wants her hem to be and then she'll mark that all around she'll like swing the pencil down the bottom to mark the hem of the skirt and then she'll go ahead and she'll cut that out cut up one side and it becomes like a full wrap she'll create like rectangular ties for the waistband attach those as though you would a waistband and she'll have like a really simple full wrap skirt so i think that i want to give that a go i also feel like that would be a really cool video idea just kind of like working that out and seeing if it works and if it does it'd make a great tutorial for a quick skirt that requires a very small amount of fabric because these days coming up with different patterns that will give you like a full garment not like a sleeveless tank but like a full garment for like under two yards of fabric is very rare so that is the idea behind this fabric again i got a yard and a half of this and i paid $13.99 per yard for this fabric all right now the last fabric is like my piece de la restance i don't know if i said that but this is this is absolutely gorgeous it is a linen cotton blend in the most beautiful large-scale print like ever it's giving Riley Blake vibes even though I know it's not I'm curious to see if there's any information on the selvage okay so it is a oh it is a right okay so literally not oh it is but I said Riley Blake I was thinking rifle paper coat and it is a rifle paper coat print it is a linen cotton blend and like the most gorgeous large-scale print like this is absolutely beautiful um, for this I am thinking of doing the Vicky Sosa Esther dress now I have had this pattern in my pattern collection for quite some time and I don't really know what's been stopping me I lie I know what's been stopping me I don't like having to like tape together PDF patterns and so it usually like just puts me off I'd rather just grab my rotary cutter cut out a paper pattern from like one of the big four companies and move on with my life but I really do want to make this and right now I'm kind of on the hunt for like my next everyday dress so I think for a while my everyday dress was the McCall's 7969 pattern I think that's the number um and I love that dress to pieces but I'm just ready to switch it up I'm kind of getting into the point where or into the phase where I want more tailored pieces and so i originally was thinking for this something like with a collar you know maybe like a princess seam bodice and then just like a rectangular skirt buttons down the center but i don't know if i'd have enough for that given that i only have three yards of this and it's 45 wide so that dress i think i can squeeze out of three yards and I'm also going to shorten it so that would help me to like save some yardage and I feel like if I could get the fit down for that it'd be like the perfect everyday dress now before I dare cut into this amazingly gorgeous fabric I am going to do a mock-up and I'm even going to try and find like some cheaper linen from Joann's like some nine dollar yard linen and do a mock-up in that like a wearable mock-up obviously but a mock-up in that linen before I like I said dare cut into this I have found before even when I've made mock-ups of things that I was planning on making a linen the way that linen wears is so different from the way that cotton wears as the grain tends to like stretch out like with wear so I really want to get like the mock-up phase of this right so this is gonna be like one of those longer haul projects I'll probably record um the process of this because I do want to get into like more thoughtful like making going for it and not to say that my making hasn't been thoughtful in the past but it's just kind of like I make on a whim so I'll have an idea and I want to get it done as quickly as possible and I can make things with a pretty quick turnaround I tend to get a little bit frustrated when things take me like longer than a day or two but for this because the fabric is so beautiful and precious to me I really do want to take my time and get that right so that is the plan for this also if you know then you know doesn't this kind of like remind you of like Oscar de la Renta like it's giving oscar de la renta vibes like it really is i'll try and put up a picture like to, so you can see what i'm thinking over here all right guys and that is it for the video thank you so much if you have stayed and watched the entire video if you haven't already please do hit the like button as it does help me out in these youtube streets and subscribe if you are interested in seeing more as i've stated before i am very interested in growing this channel and this community and i would love for you to come along and be a part of that journey until next time stay beautiful make great things i'll talk to you later bye